Welcome back ladies and gents, welcome back to another video on the channel. Today we are going to be looking at adding uh, sound alerts with an extension on Twitch. Uh, something similar to <laughs> this, there it is. <laughs> uh, so let's get into it. Right, so let's get into it. Uh, first off, we're going to need to go to Twitch. We are going to need to... Let's just turn that off a second. We will need to go... Let me zoom in to your creator dashboard. And we'll go to this section here. So you see all the bits and pieces. We need to go to extensions, which is just over here on the left. Find that what you can do sometimes it just pop up straight away in in these ones because it's, it's quite a popular one But if not you can just go into the search bar uh, Let's just zoom back out just type in sounds and I've, Yeah, we've got that in there because I did me zoom uh, try that again sounds Let's try that again Oh, there we go. It sounded like yeah, I've already got it installed. So all we do is uh, install it uh, and then you'll have to configure it. Uh, so we'll go into the configure section here. Open sound dashboard alerts. We open that. Log in with your Twitch. It will go through the regular process, but because I've already done it, I've already got it there. And then you've got an option of which which um, broadcasting software you use. I use obviously use OBS Studio. So you can click that if you do. Uh, you can then all you do is you literally. So I don't know if I can do this. Let me bring up my second OBS. Let's try and get it here. So there we go. So we can just drag. Come on, don't hide away. Drag and drop it into OBS. You press yes. And then that's in there. The only thing you would have to do is say if you've got multiple scenes where you want it on, because it'll only play on that certain scene, is you will have to create. So if you want it on scene three, for example, uh, just go and create a browser, oh, not create a browser sword, add another browser source in, and then that'll just add it into that scene. Okay, uh, so that's just the way, wherever you want it. I mean, if you don't want anything coming up on, on, uh, on your scene, you can just bury it underneath it. It should still play the sound, but um, yeah, so that's how you add it into there. Um, the if you do use something like Streamlabs, XSplit, or um, Twitch Studio, hey, I'm not I'm not one to uh, to uh, to say why or wherefore, but anyway. Um, so if you do that, then the, the way you need to do it is you need to copy the uh, URL. You can, I'm not going to show it because yeah, copy the URL and then just create a browser source in. So we'll use it. I'm only got OBS Studio, but. We'll show you in this. So you just create a oh no, not a scene. You just create a browser source in it. Copy the uh, copy the link in the top. Uh, I'm assuming it's similar on Streamlabs and all the others. Uh, I don't think it really matters about the size, unless you want it really big so it shows up across the whole of your screen when you do the the play uh, when it plays the sound, and just press OK. I'm not going to make that um, just purely simply because I don't need it. So. So yeah, we've, we've got that into OBS. The next bit we need to do is actually add in the extension. So you've got to install the extension, which we'll show you in a second. Uh, actually, we'll do that now. We'll go to install the extension. So you need to go to your My Extensions and you'll have it along here somewhere, along these sections here. Uh, all you need to do is just make it into so you've got active ones you just need to set it as a panel okay because then when we go to right, I'll just go to twitch so when we go to twitch we go to my channel obviously as an example we go to not my chat we don't want the chat do we we don't want the chat I will get this right we go to the about section and then it's that's one of your panels in there. So we'll just show you how to add in the channel points and the uh, the, the rest of it now. So where are we? Get the right page. So once we've added that in, install the extension. It's just a simple few clicks, uh, and you added it in. The next bit is you select a sound. 
that you want to add in. So the bit I will say you have to do in here, if you want it as channel points, you do need to go to your settings. You need to go to let players uh, sound with channel and just enable that. You only get, I believe, five channel points, or that's all I've been able to. Um, you can have a chat notification, so enable that when <clears throat> when it plays. You can have a cooldown. Uh, you can go for different theme colours. There's a master volume as well. And then the overlay alert. Again, you can change the, the default. And you can have just no visual alert, just audio only. So you can have that as well. Um, again, it just go, gives you the setup section there. So adding a sound in. So we're going to add one in. Uh, where are we? No, let's, there we go. So we're going to go to library. And if we want to do it, uh, say this one. So we want to do a fart. You can test any sound on here. So scream, applause, so on and so on. There's loads. There's, there is 414,000 sounds you can choose from. Um, so, yeah, you can, as you can guess, there's, there's, there's quite a few. Um, we've already added some in to my sounds. So I've got, uh, as an example, I've just added this in as a fart one, and I've done a few channel point ones. So, what we're going to do is we're going to add one in. We're going to add a sound in. Where are we? Channel points. No, dashboard. Ah, I've lost it. Library. There we go. So, we're going to add this fart one in. So, to add a sound, just click that. You can select how many bits you want it for. So, if you want it for bits, uh, you can add it as a channel point. Again, you can select how many channel points you have it for. So, say... 250 and you can add the sound and this instantly adds it in to your um we're gonna add more sounds into your channel point so i'm gonna bring up the other obs so for now as you should see it get started yeah yeah we use that much so you can see there now that's populated that instantly without you having to go into your channel points um inside of uh, your, your create dashboard and then you can just collect that click that You'll get a double one because I think I've got it on two, two things. But yeah, <laughs> so yeah, it's it's quite a simple one. Obviously, if you want it out as bits, where are we? So if you want, say, RIP, you want that as a as a bit, as a bit one. You just add the sound. You select the uh, not channel points and extensions. So you say you want it for hundred bits. You just add that as a sound and now if we go to here there you go it's in there ready and raring to go nice quick simple thing can add some interactive things it just saves if you're not into as much as building stuff or you want something easy that's so easy to work in your stream and add some interactive natures to it and if timed right can can work out really well for you your stream as well and get you some good clips as well um so thank you once again um, we will catch you all in the next video. Peace out.